In this game, I will be asking a popular YouTuber the price of 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Their goal will be to guess the price of each card as closely as possible. For each dollar away they are from the correct answer, they receive a point. As points add up, the lower the prize. Today, we see if your favorite YouTuber can win the $1,000 grand prize. In today's episode, our new guest is... Tom Box. Tom Box is a longtime Yu-Gi-Oh player, judge, and Yu-Gi-Tuber for MST.TV. His ultimate counter guides, ruling videos, and yearly set reviews have provided much needed information to the Yu-Gi-Oh community. Today, we see if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Welcome back to episode five of Guess That Price. Today, we have someone who is confident that they're gonna do well. How you doing, Tom Box? I'm doing okay but I don't know if I'm going to do that great. I haven't really <laughs> needed to buy or look at Yu-Gi-Oh card prices in so long. I usually let uh, Nishi deal with all of that stuff. <laughs> not going to lie. Well, unfortunately, he's not here to oh, help he's you, not. so it's all, it's all up to <laughs> yeah. you. You got to figure this out. Oh, man. All my prices are just like so, so dated. I usually can get a good grasp of like modern stuff, but when it comes to like collectibles, oh, man, I, I could be like a, a train wreck and i do want to remind you that whilst we're going through you have three lifelines so i don't i don't know if you are super familiar so we're going to go through the three lifelines that you have 10 different questions we're going to be asking three different lifelines are you can ask which tier you are in so i want to remind the audience and yourself that the tiers are tier one one to a hundred dollar value card okay. tier two 101 to 250 dollar card tier three 251 dollars or greater those are the two, three different tiers so if you ask me which tier you're in i'll tell you which one one two or three and you'll know the range that you need to guess the second is lower or higher you pick a number i tell you if the correct answer is lower than that number or higher than that number if you guess it right on i guess you just get it right because that hasn't happened yet but i'll okay, be interesting okay. if it does and the third one is if you have a question and you don't have any idea you just want a new question so if you're in like i ask you a question it's in tier two i'll give you another tier two answer or another tier two question so it'll be in the same tier as the previous question but it's a new question so you'll be able to basically re-roll a question sounds okay let's hop right into the first one the first question is what is the price of deep sea diva from turbo pack four that's a super rare oh my god this is so hard already <laughs> as turbo pack like way back i remember pulling two of these and buying a third one to complete my set but I, yeah i don't think those prices are relevant anymore <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Could be the exact same I mean, price I, as it I'm was. I'm pretty. 10 years okay, ago. I'm 100 percent sure it is not like forty dollars <laughs> or anywhere near that. <laughs> okay, so you're saying it's more than forty. All right, we got that locked in. It's definitely more than forty. Like I remember, like I, I think, like I don't know if like the price got impacted thanks to like needle fiber getting banned. This was playable. This was like a card that we used in sprites. Could have been. And I'm pretty sure like it was one of the more like favorable cards to use then. And usually whenever something comes into like the meta that's like playable from the old times, they usually spike up. And whenever they leave, they also like tank the price a little bit. What do you think it was? Where do you think it was before and after? I mean, what do you think? Like for Turbo Pack 4, like Turbo Pack stuff is like a, a lot of this stuff is actually quite pricey. Pretty old at this point. Yeah, it's pretty old, but I don't think it's 250 plus old. I think it's like between the range of 101 to 250. Oh, it's here too. Interesting. But right now there's also Edison and that there is there Edison. is Edison, that man. Exist. Like this card just <laughs> is all over the place. It's all over the map here. I'm going to go for 200. 200 flat is when you want to lock it in. Guess number one. Guess number one. I'm going to lock it in at 200. $200 <sighs> for the Deep Sea Diva from Turbo Pack. When I looked this one up, I hadn't looked it up in a while because I had these a while back like you did. Not as far back as you did probably, but they were like 80 to 90 at the time. And then they got that reprint in like OTS. Yeah. There was like an OTS oh, no. super. So it's like the same rarity. Oh, no. So then they went down and I was like, oh man. So this is the first time I checked it since then. And I think it is Edison is the reason why it has come back up. So I will tell you, it is in tier two. So you're right Ooh. about that. You have nailed that. It's definitely come back up from the 90 that I that I had them at and then it went down. It is now officially $165. Ooh, not too far off. I thought I was going to die. Yeah, so you're pretty close. I mean, you were <laughs> in the range, I would say. I was a bit higher on the range, but man, I, I think I'm going to overguess. I think once you started talking about Edison, you convinced yourself to go a little bit yeah, higher. Yeah, I did. I did. Before that, I was like, he might nail it right here. Before I kicked in Edison, I was like, this is probably like 180 Like, well, how, how much would I pay for this? Then again, I might be thinking right. Canadian prices. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, this is USD, so that could mess you up. I got, I got yeah, to convert. I got to convert. Yeah. yeah, after you're done, we're gonna give you like a, a Canadian conversion rate. Like, see, like if 
Like, I, I, feel really like I, uh, I feel like I nailed it. If it was Canadian converted. If it was Canadian, that probably is right. Oh, well. Okay. And question number two. We have Dogmatica Ecclesia the Virtuous, the Starlight Rare from Rise of the Duelist, first edition. Oh, Starlight Rares now. Okay, so Starlight Rares, I mean, some of them are like kind of worthless and some of them are worth like way more than the others. Now, Ecclesia <laughs> being one of the more popular ones, it's a waifu card at the same time, also very essential for anyone playing Dogmatica. I mean, the card, the original card tanked to like nothing now. So this card, However, I think it's still among some of the higher ones. I don't think it's that high though. I mean, there's a lot of Starlight Rares that are just like not, like a lot, okay. A lot of the later Starlight Rares are worth so little in comparison to like all, a lot of the original ones. Well, what's, what Starlight Rares are you talking about specifically? Like if we look at any of the Charmer girls, those are really high. Those are extremely, extremely high. And then this is also Ecclesia. I don't know where Ecclesia would really fall under. Cause like we also have some stuff like uh, the Dragonstorm trap card. You know what I'm talking about. You think Ecclesia and the Dragon? No, they're they're card definitely are, are on opposite <laughs> spectrums of this. Uh -huh. I would say like on the higher end of like almost like 300, like maybe 290. Interesting, interesting. This is a waifu card, but like I don't, I, I can't really put my finger on this. You seem to be pushing it toward being expensive, but then you keep wanting to go I back really down. I really want to go back down because no one's playing it, but I, it's not a matter of playing it at this point. It's yeah. a waifu card, and the waifu tax yeah. is high. I'm going to like uh, maybe I'll stick with the, I'll stick with the 290. I could be. They could be in the 300 range. You can always use lifelines. If you're not sure, you're not feeling too good about it, you can use I'll, lifelines. I'll save the lifeline for now. I'll, I'll save it until, okay. uh, until after round three. You are officially locking in at $290 for Dogmatic Ecclesia the Virtuous Starlight Rise of the Duelist. Question number two. Tom. Yeah. I think that... Uh, Anybody who was looking to buy this card would be happy to buy it at how much you oh just Oh my said god, it no, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna die here. You remember I said that your your worst one gets thrown out, yeah, right? Yeah, how bad am I? That's a good thing because this card is six hundred and eighty one dollars. Oh I'm so <laughs> far off. Oh wow. Yeah, this one I was actually pretty surprised about this one too, because the ultimate rare for this card is like thirty dollars. Yeah. No one can play you can't play Dogmatica right now. I think that this is actually a, in large part due to Rise of the Duelist being a very difficult set to obtain. Oh and I didn't think I about think that. that has to be it because like you were right, it's also waifu material, so that's gonna add to it. But Rise of the Duelist was difficult to find. But six hundred and eighty one, I was that's actually like, like that's like the price wow. of like DD crows and effect failures which if you think about it those came out around the same time so it might just be because they're two maybe years old it's well. their timing so, i don't know i don't know here here i am those, dying left and right okay we'll see how i do after this okay now now i've got a better okay mindset because your worst one it's gone so you don't have to worry <laughs> what about if it. i do worse However, <laughs> You don't get to you don't get to do worse than that now. So you got to do better than you were four hundred dollars off that time. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Question Ooh, number three. Time to redeem yourself. You have three lifelines. Okay. Let's do it. We have the Dark Magician Ultra Rare from the Shonen Jump Magazine promos. Why why why, why are you throwing all these curveballs? Okay, this one. Oh, okay, I do have a copy of this, but I acquired it like a long time ago, and I'm not sure if the price of this changed since you know. Rest in peace, Kazuki Takahashi. I know there. Was like a, there was a phase where people were all just hunting down like the signed cards. There was a phase, yeah. uh, especially right after he passed away. Do you know how much they were? When I got it, it was like 50 bucks in a showcase. So I was like, that was a no brainer. Oh, but interesting. Then, but then bucks. when I last checked, like when I personally last checked the price, like uh, when he was still alive, uh, it was like around $90 for a copy. Interesting. However, I think this one went up. I don't know. There's, there's a lot going for this one. There's a lot going for it. But I'm ranging this one around tier two. Like this is like not that hard to actually acquire. I mean, this is a Shonen Jump magazine promo. I think this is like a subscription promo where you get it. So you're, uh, you don't think it was around that same price you picked it up. You think it's gone up since then? It's definitely gone up because when I picked it up for 50 bucks, I did check the price like during when Dragoon came out. Dragoon, so two years ago? A year, <laughs> Was yeah, that? like two years ago, like all, all the Dark yeah, Magician okay, cards yeah. spiked up. That's, that should be accurate. That, yeah, it, we can count on that so one. So I'm pretty confident this copy is over 100 bucks. It could be like maybe low hundreds. Of course, I could be wrong. So I'm going to go with like maybe like 130. Well, that seems a little low to me, though. 130. 130. Is that, is that your oh guess? God, you're, you're, so, you're such a complicated host, leaving me <laughs> confused. 
the entire time. I've heard a lot of numbers from you. You said 50. No, 50 was the original range when I picked the 130. 130 is like what I think. Maybe I think cards are more expensive. I, I feel like, you know that time when Bill Gates had to guess how much like uh, like toothpaste was and he said it was $20? <laughs> 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 that, that's what I feel you like. You are right. the Bill Gates of Yu-Gi-Oh! Is that what you're saying? Oh, no. So are you saying, <laughs> wait, so are you saying that you are overvaluing I this would card? Probably, that's basically I might what it overvalue like. I'll say it's around one. I'll say 140. So you think it's three times as much as that original 50? Oh yeah, by far. Yeah, for sure. They're definitely definitely not a $50 card anymore. Cause like last I checked when I wanted to pick one up, it was like at least a hundred. All right, okay. All right, well. Please tell me I'm right. You've locked I've it locked in, it. $140. Well, Tom, you probably should have stuck with the original price. 50 bucks? No! It's 55 Oh my God, it was still the same. Okay, I'm dying. I lost a hundred here. I was like, yeah, you should probably go down. I thought it was way better. Maybe, j oh my God. Why do I think cards are so expensive? I don't have no idea. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. It's okay. It's just one. That's only the first one you've missed the tier though. Even though you missed that Dogmatico one so badly, you still got the tier right. So you that, got the But bonus. that one, the range so. was so high. This one, man, that was unforgivable. Like this one here, it's $50. 55 yeah cool. it's not it's not too crazy it's not too crazy i thought it'd be a little crazier all right question number four we have one that i, I think this might this one might be tough okay question number four you have lifelines okay so I, 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 might, I might try it all right this one is archfiend of gilfer secret rare from retro pack 2 automatically an expensive card every everyone's like oh what the retro pack version of x y and z card but especially <laughs> retro pack secret rares uh, they are definitely really expensive in terms of how yeah, expensive yeah. like do people even want this card this card this card isn't even used yeah d do people want this card that's the question i don't think they do i mean it's a good it's a collectible if you're like if you're like a yugi fan you'd probably collect this i mean yugi use this card man this is not like scapegoat or on any of the more common or like blue eyes shining you know the the, the easy ones that people know archfiend of right. gilfer if you have no idea lifeline time it's just it say it could be lifeline time this could be a decent one let's go with higher or lower let's use your first lifeline do you have a number in mind or you want to think about it i'm thinking 200 so you so you want to know if it's higher or lower 200 dollars the answer to that is it is higher than 200 dollars this card oh, i knew it i knew it. i knew it was going to be higher but i'm just now after take a guess whether it's staying in the tier two range or is it tier three you've got lifelines <laughs> i do have lifelines but i'm not burning all of them here i could price it smart this is archery give like i know like the retro pack cards are pretty expensive especially uh they're right. pretty hard to get they're euro only aren't they uh i believe retro pack was it was something weird like that because they like, came in that yeah, little they... weird giant blister looking yeah i had thing. the very small special edition they're like skinny yeah, special really editions weird. they look yeah the europe shaped one so it probably was europe i'm gonna stick with 300 it's just i don't understand the pricing of retro pack at all it's so high but it's like a retro pack sangin is like incredibly like expensive yeah that that's retro pack one retro pack one's even yeah. crazier that's super hard like, rp2 find. is just yeah. as crazy but then i also picked up a retro pack 2 lava golem recently and didn't cost me all that much but so, so mainly the secret right. rares are they're really really up there i think i'm gonna stick with 300 let's go with it 300 dollars okay this i thought might be one of the more difficult ones because it's just like retro pack it's kind of like all over the place depending on which card it is and i'll say you didn't get the tier right so no Oh, no, it's one tier below. It was in tier two at $248, right on the edge. Uh, so you're really not too far off. You're really $52 off on this bad. one. Not too bad. Yeah, this one was tricky because it's right on the border of tier two and tier ah, three. I know. That's why visible. higher and lower wasn't the best advantage there. If you had picked tier, it, I don't know, because then like, no, I, what would no, you have guessed because, if I had because said tier automatically two? Because like, automatically for Retro Pack, I, it, to me, it was automatically going to be 200 plus. Which, which would have been, yeah, if you had said tier two, then you would have been but then I would have been surprised if it was like a, like closer to uh, like the the 190 range. I was like, no, there's no way. Right. But you know what? Not too bad on this one. All right. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right. Question number five. This is one that I don't know if you are familiar with it, but I feel like you should be. This is Lone Fire Blossom Super Rare from Champion Pack 7. So you've been trying to, to pawn off your wife's 
champion packs to me, which I should probably buy at some point. And some of them are champion packs. I know. So do you know how much they cost? Is okay, the question. So this one, like a near mint one, is like like the there's the range of this card. I am a bit more familiar with because every single LP to like near mint, there's a huge price difference between those. Right. Well, it is near mint. So this one, one, this so. one's automatically in tier three. There's no doubt about it. The question is, am I ranging it closer to 400 or 500? One was like interesting. Wow, that's an expensive. This card, card is hella expensive. I know that for a fact. I'm also <laughs> very upset, and this card is like brings a tear to my eye every time. I had a playset of this card. Oh no! <laughs> I sold them off for twenty dollars each. Oh no! <laughs> You've been around too long. That's the problem. You've had all the expensive cards uh, yeah, at cheap prices. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> like Gravekeeper Spy was like another one. I mean, TCG Player Price guides it at like five hundred ninety nine. Yeah, so the way I do it, by the way, I, don't, I, don't, I probably should have reminded you of this. I do the lowest uh, verified seller. Yeah. Unless there's like one that's like extremely far off or whatever. This one, 380. You're going 380? It's, I don't know. Because it says, is it, you came in and said it's really somewhere high. between 400 and 500. I know, it's 400, 500, but it also could be So you're going below what you thought. No, the so reason, no, the reason because is like I looked, at, I looked at this card before, not too long uh -huh. ago. And in terms of like verified sales. No, not sales. Okay, available like listings from verified sellers, not sold. Not sold. Oh, that's different. Yeah, I'd probably right. So push not, not sold listed. That changes my number. Yeah. So this is this is the lowest listed from a verified seller, unless there's like one. That if there's only like one, then I try to use a sale. Mm, I don't know. I could go like completely far off, man. This maybe like this is like five five sixty ish. Five sixty. Interesting. I don't know. This is so hard. The range. I know so this card is. You three, just changed it three eighty. Well, like because because like recent sales, it's different. Like or should I just like throw a dart right in between? Or maybe you should go with your uh you know your second guess. Maybe you should go with that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Let's go with the let's go with the five sixty. All right. So you're going super high. This, on this card, card is this, is a this super card is expensive. Rare. This card is the most super sought card. Super rare card. Lone fire blossom also edison you know yes, edison, edison uses this card true. a little bit pretty decent card champion pack our first champion pack card we've had today well tom i will tell you that your second gut was pretty good oh because this card is 550 dollars <laughs> <laughs> so you with the bonus, you got it right. Exactly. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. I know this card is really expensive. Yeah, it's crazy. Like uh, this is a big it, one. It, like I know it's the most sought after card in CP7. Yeah, I mean $550, that's probably going to be the best card in a lot of sets unless it's Dogmatica Ecclesia from yeah, Rats just, of the <laughs> <laughs> Too soon, too soon. <laughs> That's okay. That one's gone. You just made an epic comeback oh, with thank that. Oh, so thank goodness. Halfway point, you have two more lifelines still, so you're looking okay. You've basically used two because you had your big miss. Oh, man. You're like halfway okay. through, and you've halved your lifeline. So let's move on to number six. That was a good guess right there. Okay, number six is Colossal Fighter Ultimate Rare from Turbo Pack 5. This is near mint as well. Man, I have actually never got this card before. I mean, it exists because <laughs> oh, like, wow. like the moment, like when the when the uh, the 5D structure that came out, this was the this was part of it like rather not that like a super rare version of this was part of it or if you got right. the weird one you got like a common version of it but this one colossal fighter ultimate rare from turbo pack 5 i remember the old days of wanting like collecting ultimates and like ultimates back then was like a lot cheaper like way cheaper i don't think it is actually that expensive personally this one i think it could be a cheaper ultimate i think it could be in tier one could be. But it's it could like be. a higher end of tier one because it is an ultimate. Interesting. Like, it could be yeah. like closer to 80. I think it's around 80. 80 to 90. 80 to 90. Interesting. That's kind of the range I want to go for. I don't think, okay, clearly this is not nowhere near the JD range because JD is super popular. Dark Arm super popular. I mean, like, Dark Arm Dragon is like, like, I don't know, like tier three, like 300 or something like that. Or at least like JD is as well. So this one I think is tier one. I'll, I'll probably got to stick with like 80. Okay. All right. Colossal Fighter Ultimate Rare. You're in question number six. You just basically nailed question number five. Let's see how you followed it up. So you're feeling like it's a turbo pack ultimate. They only came with one ultimate in the sets back, the, mm -hmm. back then. So it was like the main card of the set. It's But you're saying it's a cheaper one. So... It's not like the dad. It's not like the JD. Those are crazy. Those are like tier three cards. Well, I will tell you that you are correct. Ooh. It is a tier one card. 
and it's $88. Oh, that was good. And you nailed it. You almost went to 90, which would have been closer. You'd only been two yeah, off. Yeah, it's like, it's. I'm always between like the 10 range. I think I only know how to round to like even numbers. <laughs> yeah, well, 80 to 90, you were like, you you were, it was right around it. It was perfect. So that with the bonus, you essentially made $2 yes. on that one. So you're making a comeback right now. Like it was a rough start on question two, but since then two in a row that you've like nailed or like made money, you basically made hey, money maybe, on that maybe one. Maybe so I know more than I, I give out. I think so. We've only got four to go. You still have two lifelines as well. So, I mean, you're making a comeback. Here we the go. time is now. Oh, and I haven't even mentioned that you, you're you winning. You have a potential to win a giveaway for the audience. I don't know if you know that. But oh, you know what? Let's go for it. Let's get that giveaway for the audience. And you could win up to a $1,000 prize if you're with a one percent which it's going to be difficult to do that but <laughs> we will see we will see at the end because right now uh you're doing pretty well so let's go to question number seven let's do it question number seven ultimate slayer starlight rare from power of the elements first edition near mint oh funny enough i wanted this card I actually wanted this card. I know for a Starlight Rare, being one of the newer Starlight Rares, it was definitely one of the more expensive newer Starlight Rare. However, because it didn't see very much play, it didn't go to the ranges of Appaloosa or IP Mascarena. Nowhere close to those. Yeah. However, it is still, it's like on the fence of tier one and tier, sorry, not tier one, tier two and tier three. It's on the fence there. I just can't Interesting. put my finger whether or not it is like 270 or is it 240? Oh my God, this one is another. Mm, I don't know, is it? Which one is it? Oh. Or is it one of those? I know, Who I'm knows? pretty sure it should be around one of those two. Nero Starlight Rare somehow never picked up like the hype that the other ones did. Except for maybe like Roll Kalos. Yeah. Roll Kalos, like being such a recent one, of course, I, I paid attention to that one. Yeah. But this one being just from the one, one pass set, I would say this one is closer to, I mean, I could like minimize my, you know, I could min max this <laughs> by going okay, for the one right. between. Uh, but I definitely don't think this is a th over $300 personally. I don't think it is $300. Okay. Uh, nowhere close. That's, that's like, that's some, that's some, for something else. This one, I, I really want to say, let's go to 265. <laughs> <laughs> 265. Uh, 265 okay all right um question number seven tom box you start looking up answers recently no, or something? No, this one, <laughs> I can, you can check the camera. My hands are free. My hands are free. <laughs> Your hands are free. Okay, I'm just making sure because the answer is $264. <laughs> You're $1 <laughs> off. That is insane. No, this one, I, I told you, I wanted this card. I paid attention to this one. You nailed the range to 240 to 270 again, and then you went... You Modern didn't cards. Even pick 270. You pick 265. You got even closer. Modern somehow. cards are are definitely something that I'm stronger hey, with. You're crushing the modern cards. I cannot I cannot argue there. So I mean, even though the last two technically weren't even modern, but yeah, you knew this one pretty. But I did play. I did try to play into that format. Like Colossal Fighter. I can I can tell you like I wanted to rebuild my Teledad deck, but I also wanted the Max yeah. Rarity. That's why yeah, Colossal yeah, yeah. Fighter to me was like something I was a bit more familiar with. And of course, Lone Fire Blossom had a sad story attached to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you knew you knew the pain. But yeah i definitely knew those ones like these are just like you know just you know the stars are aligning right now for the things i know okay well you are now down to three questions you still have two of your lifelines okay. you have done three in a row that have been basically right on so you could get some seer like this will be one of the most epic comebacks after the start like you, you started <laughs> off rough and like you are on fire right now so question number eight here we go. Swap Frog Ultimate Rare from OTS Pack 3 Near Mint. I'm sorry, Roxanne. I know this one. I know this one fairly well because I, oh, interesting. I bought a couple. Oh, <laughs> you recently bought some. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know how much they dropped them. I, I bought them when, um, when sprites were uh, just getting released. So I'm pretty sure they okay. tanked a bit. Well, that's pretty recent. That is pretty so. recent. But I don't, like, they definitely, like, okay, they were, like, 400 at one point. Like, at the peak of the peak of the peak when they were, like, hyped up for before the release. But this one oh, wow. went down hard a little bit. Quite, yeah. quite hard, actually. When I say a little bit, I mean, it's still, like, a lot, like, like hundreds. Uh, I think this one, this one is a uh, tier two. This is a tier two, 200 something dollar card. Tier two. Okay. I just don't know if it's, like, a high, like, high 250 or, like, a low 
two to ten. Well, you still have two of your lifelines, so. So I've already went for high low, but I already know the range. Yeah. But I don't want to change the question, so I'm going to stick with my gut on this one. I like it. I like it. This one, I'm going to go with um, two twenty. I'm gonna lock this one. and twenty on this dollars. One. Two hundred and twenty dollars. So you're telling me this card was up at four hundred dollars? That is pretty crazy. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Like ridiculously popular. Yeah, it was. It was very hot, but. I can tell you now, it has come down quite a bit. It is definitely not in the $400 range. This card is Swap Frog Ultimate Rare OTS Tournament Pack 3, $150. No! Detect that much more. <laughs> so this thing came down a lot, man. Well, that was in the correct tier, a little bit off. The meta swings, the meta swings will get you for sure. I, went, I did go down from from the higher range. I stuck with the tier two. Thank, thank God I did. Yeah, you still save yourself 10 bucks right there. That's not too bad. It's okay, because you had three or four like insane in a row. Three gr great ones in a row, so you're doing all right. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, not bad, but now we go to the last two, which we ask at the same time, oh. because, you know, because we don't want you to be able to pigeonhole like which tier it is. So question number nine, I'm gonna ask these at the same okay. time, and then you can go through them. So the first one is Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End Collector Rare from Toon Chaos First Edition near Mint. The second one is Dark Magician 20th Anniversary Ultra Rare from Battles of Chaos First Edition. This is so hard. <laughs> so you have two lifelines. You have to, use, I mean, you don't have to use them, but I mean, you might as well if you want to. You I know? shouldn't complain about the Dark Magician 20th Anniversary Rare though. That one, I should know this one. Okay, at, at its peak, it was ridiculously expensive. Ah, but the Chaos Emperor, is that the highest rarity? Collector rare? Yeah. Well, there's ultimate rare as well. There's also secret rare. Oh, but then again, but then, but then for, for first dead secret's probably the highest rarity then. There's also the Duelist Pack Kaiba ultimate rare, which is probably higher than this as well. Okay, I'm gonna probably gonna keep the Dark Magician one. Yeah. Because I still have the two lifeline. I'll swap the Chaos Emperor Dragon. Backup question here it comes. First of all, let me give us a guess on what you would have guessed on the Chaos Emperor Dragon. We'll come back to it later. I think this one would have been maybe 200 being the first Ed Toon Chaos. Maybe 200 or so. I could be completely wrong, <laughs> but like I would get what I get is 200. All right, once we've, once we've done the other ones, we'll come back to that one and see how close you were. So let's get your new question. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, ultimate rare from OTS tournament pack five. Oh my God. I know, like I kind of already know what tier that one is in. So which I have one lifeline, which is guessing which tier it is. I'm going to put, I'm going to put that on the Dark Magician. Okay. All right. You're going to, you're going to, Confirm what the Dark Magician is. What did you think it was in before I tell you? I think it. I think it's in tier one. Well, you are correct. It is in tier one. So my guess on Dark Magician is probably like 80 bucks or so, somewhere around there. It's not, it's not the easiest card to pull. I mean, like it's like same ratio as like almost like getting a Starlet, but it's like a guaranteed one if you go for the go for the sets. So that one's probably around. To me, around 80, it dropped definitely significantly from its initial launch price of $700, but it's probably, it's yeah, probably, yep. it's probably around like- A little bit, yeah, a little bit of a It's drop, probably around okay. 80. Uh, Ghost okay. Ogre Ultimate Rare. Now, it's no Max C, but it's still one of the Ghost Girl Ultimate hand traps, and it is definitely one of right. the most popular ultimate for sure. Yeah. I would say ranging in the 400. Ghost girls are always collectible, especially the highest rarity. I'm putting my money closer to 400 to 450 for like the ghost ogre snow rabbit. I think 400 it, to 450. That's pretty expensive. It is a pretty expensive card. I wanted to pick it up, but I, after I kept on looking at the prices, I mean, even like a secret rare version of this card is closer to a hundred dollars like 100, 120, or like, it's around that range. Like it's it's higher than like the $50 typical, you can pick it up for no, like really easy, but like it's, I'm putting it around the 400 for like 400, 450 for this one. So I have to pick a range. So I've, I'm gonna lock in the Dark Magician 80. Now for the Ghost Ogre. Okay. I'd be super surprised that if it was, 380. I'd be super surprised if it was lower than like that. Interesting. Let's, uh, you know what? I'll lock in at like 410. Just sort of like, I'm, I, I give myself a little bit of leeway. All right, here we go. The final two questions. Tom, how do you feel like you've done so far? Pretty, pretty okay or? Pretty good. I think I did pretty good. Famous last words. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the last two answers. I've got good news and I've got bad news. Let's start off with the good news. The Dark Magician. You nailed it. It's $75. Yes. Oh no, Ghost Ogre, so, no. <laughs> so uh, I'm curious to why you asked which tier the Dark Magician was in when you already knew. Yeah, well, 
The ghost ogre, you apparently did not know. I'm far <laughs> off. How bad am I? How far am I? Okay, so the uh, the ghost ogre and snow rapper ultimate. I'm wondering if you maybe looked this up like during uh you know like when people were using it back in like I, for Hartford and may, stuff like that. Maybe. maybe. How bad? Because that was I remember that it was super popular around like that like Charlotte and Hartford. Yeah. But I don't think it's as popular anymore. The card is now at one hundred ninety dollars. For Ulsi? <laughs> Yeah, for ulti. <laughs> oh, no. I... So if you just asked which tier that was in, you would have known to guess. Oh, level. man. I thought I was confident. I was so confident. <laughs> yeah, in you're it. like, I know this one. I was like, okay, he knows it. And then you're like, it's around like four. I was like, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Oh man, so close. But overall still though, pretty good because you did get one really close. You really just struggled on the Ecclesia and the Ghost Ogre. That's where you missed Those them really badly. But oh my god, I thought I thought they were they're only a hundred? That's so low. Well 190, it's okay, essentially 200. 200, 200. I guess okay, then that means Chaos Emperor Dragon. Tell me. Tell me if I tell me. Yeah, oh that's another thing. The Chaos Emperor really threw you off. The Chaos Emperor Dragon. Uh, you guessed 200. It's 115 dollars. If I guessed that, I would have been at least like in the range. <laughs> the yeah, the lifeline killed me. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> that's what happened with Simo. He switched the question and got worse. <laughs> Still pretty good. All right, now we need to total up and see how you did to see what level prize you won. So let's do that All real right, quick. Let's see. Let's see. All right, are you ready to see how you did, Tom? All right, Roxon. I'm ready. How do you feel overall? Uh pretty good until the end <laughs> the best we've had was gauge he did he was just under five percent off of the total oh, yeah. prices he was like four point something the worst we've had was simo at 16.9 percent let's just see how you did all right so first of all the total number of dollars for each of the questions i asked you minus the one that we removed and then swapping out one so with that total amount was two thousand four hundred sixty six dollars worth of cards Okay. You were off by, on all your questions, $486. You also got $10 bonus seven times. Ooh. You got seven tiers right. So you are $416 off. That means that you were 16.87% off, just better than Simo. <laughs> you are not the worst <laughs> guest so far. You just edged him out, so you're fourth out of fifth place. But overall, you're still going to win $100 for the fans of the channel. All right. So anyone watching... Like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know how, to, how Tom did. Did he do bad? Did he do good? Did he get screwed over by just a couple of questions? Because that's kind of how it felt. Because he did really well on some. You were like super close on some, and then you were like way off on a few other ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just how it is. It's just how it is. I, my knowledge is so spotty on these things. Like, I rely on Nishi way too much. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about just beating out Simo for last place? See, that's perfect. Just one step above, you know? Just, just, just the want. right amount of effort to not be last place. Like, sec not second bad. worst. Like, second cheapest wine is the one that always gets ordered. You're second worst right now, but there's still plenty of people to come. Oh. They will they will do worse than you. Oh, so I don't know. <laughs> you will never be the worst to be on the show. You will never be that. <laughs> So not bad. All right. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, Tom Box. Thank you so much for being on here. This has been a blast. Uh, anything you want to say before you go out? Guys, hit the subscribe button with Roxon, you know, and, uh, you know, thank you guys for you know, supporting me. Of course, thank you for having me, Roxon. I couldn't have had any more fun than I could have this weekend or rather this week night. Maybe Nishi could be my redemption redemption round. We might have to bring Nishi on for a little redemption to uh, up your score a little bit. So thank you, Tombox, for being on here. Make sure you guys go check out his channel, mst.tv. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.